the market for flue gas desulfurization equipment, primarily scrubbers, is going to exceed six billion per year over the decade, and that's a very, very large number. It could be seven billion, and it could be ten billion, depending on some of the regulatory initiatives, which are not yet solidified. But in any case, it is going to be a very big market. And the reason is that uh, half of the world's FGD capacity, in other words, the coal-fired power plants are emitting SO2 directly to the atmosphere without any scrubbers to capture the SO2. So there's going to be a big et a retrofit market. Uh, there's also a number of new coal plants going in, uh, and they're all going to pretty much have FGD systems. Even if they're going into Vietnam, they're going to have uh, scrubbers associated with them. And that uh, uh, another big driver, actually, is what we call PM2.5. And it turns out that in the United States, in the eastern two-thirds of the U.S., the majority of your fine particulate that causes you know, asthma, emphysema, and all these other problems is actually sulfate. So it's SO2 reacting <coughs> with uh, other uh, elements to form these compounds. So in addition to SO2 regulations, the PM2.5 regulations will also pretty much ensure that everybody has to put in a scrubber. And there are other decisions such as some of the problems with the nuclear and, and countries like Germany that are going to be building more coal plants now because of retiring their nuclear fleet. Uh, there's also an initiative to replace all the U.S. coal fleets with new ultra-supercritical plants that would greatly reduce all the emissions and even reduce uh, CO2 by 30 percent, not increase the price of electricity. So a lot of very good things, and the McElveen Company is very much involved in that whole analysis, um, uh, and in, you see that in some of our other news releases. But anyway, the uh, here are the numbers that we came out with. As you can see, with uh, the new, new systems, conservative uh, versus replacements and so forth. So. Um, you know, the, on the wet calcium systems, uh, you know, we can go from four billion to six billion, with the replacement market either way pretty much being uh, a couple billion a year. Dry lime is a uh, uh, equally large range, but much smaller numbers. And then there's ammonium uh, sulfate and, and sulfuric acid and some of the other byproducts that you can get from your scrubbers, which is a much smaller. Market. So then, translating these into a graphical basis, the uh, the new systems could um, be, as we've shown here, four billion for the limestone and lime wet wet systems, you know, up to the six billion, and the two billion per year in replacements. And these two billion a year in replacements represent a very uh, substantial uh, market. A lot of them are almost complete replacements of of the system. So whoever furnished the original scrubber uh, certainly has an opportunity to furnish a whole new scrubber. So this is a very good size market and this news release relates to a report and we can take just a few minutes to show you where that report is on our website there. We're going <clears> to <throat> uh, click on share and go to the web browser and we will show you the report itself. It's on our uh, here's the McElvain Company homepage popping up, and then we go to subscriber login, and we look at air services, and we go down to the FGD World Market Report, world right here, and as you can see, um, you know we've got updates to it every uh, month, and here's just the July updates, and a lot of a lot of things going on. Avitex got a new system, and Gibbons Creek updated FGD and projects around the world. As we said now, you know, even in Serbia, you've got uh, projects going in and you've got them in India and all sorts of you know, projects, even a seawater scrubber going in to Vietnam, lots of legal activities that require companies to improve their scrubbers, put in new scrubbers, etc. So, and you can go in our specific FGD forecast, and you can go in by country, and we do it by megawatts. So you can take um, 
Germany, for instance, and see how many new megawatts of scrubbers there will be in a particular year, new construction, and so forth. So we do have another um, YouTube presentation that gets into the whole report, but this was ma mainly meant to cover what was in this uh, uh, early July 2011 news release. Thank you for listening.